Today, in the north of Tanzania, Cecilia William is inspecting her latest project. She's constructing an 11-room building, which she'll rent out to various businesses. This is just one of the many enterprises she's initiated since her farming became so successful. It's hard to believe, but just 10 years ago, she barely earned enough to support her family. And as a single mother of two children, life was a struggle. As a mother in the family, I wasn't feeling good because I couldn't even afford to take the kids to school. Life was very difficult and I wasn't happy at all with the situation. So what changed for Cecilia? Access to water. Like 96% of sub-Saharan Africa, the farmers here relied on unpredictable and irregular rainfall to irrigate their crops. So the government, with support from the International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD, initiated an irrigation project here, building almost eight kilometers of canals to irrigate 916 acres of farmland. Cecilia started using this water for her crops in 2005. Now her yield is five times higher, and with almost double the income, she's been able to expand from farming to construction. Before the project, my mind was blank because I didn't get any income. I was in total darkness. The challenge came after I was getting an income. That's when things changed, and I started thinking of expansion, and a lot of plans came into my head. And Cecilia is not the only one with plans in her head. Community leaders say that more than 80% of the people in this area have had significant improvements in their living conditions since the project started. With access to water, Kamisi Shaban Ali, for example, switched from producing rice to more lucrative sugarcane. His plot has now expanded from one and a half to 18 acres, and his income is 20 times higher, resulting in a big improvement in his quality of life. Before the project, I was living in this house. When the project came, I managed to move from this house to that modern house. And to ensure that the irrigation system is sustainable, Kamisi, Cecilia and 470 other farmers from the two villages here have formed a water users association. Its chairman, Saidi Papai, says that this group has ensured that everything has run smoothly, even though the project closed in 2006. The project has been sustainable because there is good cooperation between two village governments who also work closely with Water Users Association. There is also the contribution from the water users who pay annual fees. These fees are used to repair and maintain the canals. Although when it comes to major repairs, like lining the canals with cement, this is still a challenge. It's difficult to do it from the contributions of the farmers who are paying 20,000 shillings per year, which in total makes 12 million. So to line the whole canal might take 50 years. But as more and more farmers like Kamisi and Cecilia increase their incomes, more of them will be able to afford higher contributions and further develop their agricultural production. And this is in line with what the funders IFAD are wanting the whole continent to achieve. Africa today to sustain the pace of growth needed for increasing food production needs to engage into that model using land better, managing water resources better and using the potential of the combination of both to increase yields and output and therefore benefits to the well-being of the families that uh, live and depend on smallholder agriculture. And for farmers like Cecilia, who can now comfortably support her family with the money she earns from her crops, that change has already come.